Now listen to him as he cries out here. And this is spectacular language. O earth, cover not thou my blood, and let my cry have no place. He says, if the blood of Abel cried out to God, well, certainly my blood ought to cry out to him. And he says, don't cover it up. And God won't cover any of it up. And he sees the blood of Christ too, friends, especially when you reject it. Then verse 19, he says, Also now, behold, my witness is in heaven, and my record is on high. Now, the Bible gives all the way through the teaching that God keeps a record of us. And there are those that today like to poo-poo that. They say, Now, imagine God up there sitting at a desk keeping books. Who said he was keeping books? God doesn't have to do it. If man can make a little machine today called a computer, and I want to say to you, those things frighten me because they're smarter than we are, and you can't talk back to them. I had trouble with a credit card organization because they had overcharged me, and I would just send in the amount that I owed. And I would say, check your record. And it would come back and they'd say that we're going to cancel your card. And it's the old computer talking to me. And the computer couldn't think its way through. But I want to say this, that computer had registered everything and apparently no human being was even near it because there was no brain connected with the answers they gave me. And I just wondered who in the world operates those machines. Well, anyway, may I say to you, if man can make a little machine like that, how do you think God does? <laughs> do you think maybe he could make a machine to keep your record? And maybe he wouldn't have to sit down and write up a lot of things in books. And maybe he could get some helpers to run his computers. Now, if man can make a computer, God can make a computer. And I think God can make a better computer. And I'm of the opinion that everything you've ever said, everything you've ever done is recorded, my friend. And I don't care who you are, and I don't know about you, but I want to say to you, I don't want to see that record he's made of me. And I'm very happy that some of it's blotted out under the blood. (laughs) Oh, thank God for that. Now, will you notice, he says, My friend scorn me, but mine eye poureth out tears unto God. Verse 20. Now, that's the picture of Job as he sits there upon that desolate dump, if you please, the city dump. You see him sitting there. Tears are streaming down his eyes, and his friends are standing around looking at him in scorn, as if he's a hypocrite, as if he's a liar. And they don't know him, and they don't know God, and they don't know themselves. And listen to him now as he cries out, Oh, that one might plead for a man with God as a man pleadeth for his neighbor. And I don't know about you, but I have an intercessor. I have an advocate. I have an attorney that represents me before God. And everything's been taken care of, friends. There's one that pleads for a man before God. There is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus And he'd like to be your advocate if he isn't already. 